right, let's go ahead and take a check of our pinpoint weather with meteorologist Amanda Cox. You just got those gray skies hanging yes. out with us today. And it's just going to kind of stay that way for the rest of the kind afternoon. Of it's kind of spitting a little bit. Which okay. is, I know. I know. It's a fun little term right there. It's a nice little <laughs> spitting. I love spitting. saying that. And it's like, <laughs> what? People are like, what? <laughs> no, but tomorrow's going to be much more active okay. due to the fact that that front's eventually going to be coming in. Let's take a look at what's happening outside. 54 degrees right now on your South Park camera. The winds are calm, but that cloud deck is pretty darn thick out there. And so that's why we're just continuing to kind of keep our temperature steady across the region. But warmer air is trying to settle in. We're already warmer than we were this time yesterday, and I do think our temperatures are going to come up a bit more as we head through the rest of the afternoon and evening hours. You can see a few clouds kind of just hanging out there. They're trying to thin a bit. There's some breaks that are trying to develop. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of sunshine this afternoon. The clouds are pretty dominant due to the fact that this front's kind of draped just to our south, keeping us on the cooler side. But as the system gets closer, all of this warm air is going to be lifting into the region and we're eventually going to see this cold front swinging through. So a stray shower for the rest of the afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. We'll get 69 degrees. We will see the wind starting to pick up overnight. A few more showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder by daybreak tomorrow morning. That's going to be a little bit more likely across the mountains. You can see at seven o'clock mountains, foothills have a lot of activity kind of slides through here by lunchtime. We're looking at a lot of that activity across the Queen City, maybe more across our eastern sections. And by dinner time, it's going to be shifting off to the east. So this is a fast moving storm system that's going to bring a punch with it as it comes through. But it's not going to be just an all day event. We're going to have that line of some showers and thunderstorms. Marginal risk for our area. That's kind of a low threat for us. The slight risk is to the south and again to the north. So we're kind of sandwiched in between where we could see that stronger thunderstorm popping up in a few places. The few Fuel for the storm that Cape. It's kind of somewhat on the higher side, especially across the south and eastern sections where we may see a little bit more in the way of activity. For us, tornadoes and hail not completely ruled out, but very unlikely with any one of the storm systems coming through. I think high winds as well as heavy downpours, minor flooding may be an issue in a few places, but the winds are definitely going to be picking up with this storm system. Wind gusts anywhere from maybe 25, 30, 35 miles per hour at times even higher than that in some of the thunderstorms half an inch to an inch and a half of rain will be possible and it does look like Thursday is going to be our most active day for the next seven days. We do dry out as we head into the start of the week and this weekend but then there's another system that could impact us by the time we get into your Tuesday. So temperatures are going to be holding in the 60s and 70s for the next several days. You can see once we get past the storm system tomorrow we do quickly dry out Thursday night Friday Saturday Sunday are going to all be dry with lots of sunshine. Pretty seasonable for this time of year, upper 60s, lower 70s. And then we do get a bit more active by midweek next week.